Well, this will be the next step in their very long journey. As we've indicated, Joint Base Cape Cod has been set up as an emergency shelter by the Baker administration, which has activated at least 125 members of the National Guard. Now, dorm like accommodations have been set up for these migrants who the governor says come here voluntarily, but it looks like all of the migrants have chosen to leave the vineyard. Here, there will be interpreters to help them navigate the system of getting access to services they need, like uh, legal advice and health care. The Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency will also be helping them to make sure that they get their needs met, such as housing and clothing, necessities that they need while they are here. Now, this is not unprecedented. Joint Base Cape Cod has been used in the past. For example, you may remember back in 2005, it was used to help those displaced by Hurricane Katrina. They were given also dorm like accommodations here and they were helped at that time. But these migrants are now on the move, coming to another place they're not familiar with, but there will be a lot of help for them here as they try to figure out that next step. Reporting live from Joint Base Cape Cod, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.